All right, all right. We bless the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, for this great day, this Thursday. Uh, God has allowed us to come together once again uh, at the noon hour to have prayer and to uh, do what the Word of God says. Man should always pray and not faint. So good afternoon. Good afternoon to everyone. Oh, give thanks. This is the Thanksgiving season. Let us give thanks to the Lord, exalt, and praise his name together. Uh, we have some individuals, again, we want to uh, ask God to bless on today. They continuously, uh, they find themselves standing in the need of prayer, much like all of us. Uh, Sister Carol Price, uh, Dr. Hamithia Thompson, she's soliciting prayer uh, on today. Uh, Sister Marie Robinson, of course, we've been praying uh, with and for her the last few months, Sister Rose Labette, Sister Sophia Johnson, Sister Marion Henderson, and also Sister Lily Studaway. Uh, she had eye surgery on yesterday, and she is soliciting our prayers as well. So when we pray, when you and I pray, if you would be so kind and uh, intercede on behalf of those individuals as we call on the name of the Lord, uh, in prayer on today. I want to definitely remind and let you all know that the fall session of our state convention went very, very well this past Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we met there in Hattiesburg, Mississippi at the West Point Missionary Baptist Church under the leadership of uh, Reverend Marcus Cassie. So we had a wonderful, wonderful gathering this past Monday and Tuesday. Prayerfully, uh, many of you were able to view and participate online. If not, I do know that uh, uh, those sessions are still uh, uh, online. So if you have the opportunity, simply go to New Mount Zion Facebook page and you can pull up those uh, 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 activities and workshops and courses and things of that nature that took place this past Monday and Tuesday. All right. We look forward, we're excited about having our Bible class next Monday, next Monday night as we cover uh, the rest of chapter 32. And I believe we will also move into chapter 33 as well. So on Monday at 7 p.m., we will uh, cover uh, uh, that in chapter 32 that we have not covered as of yet, and we will move. Uh, into chapter 33 as well. So I encourage each of you, if you have not, uh, it would help us greatly if you would stay up on all the reading materials. That way we will have a fruitful uh, discussion this coming Monday. All right, the passage of scripture that I want to look at uh, quickly this afternoon comes out of the book of 1 John chapter 4. 1 John chapter 4, uh, my, my devotional reading had about 14 or 15 verses. Of course, I'm not going to read them all, but uh, in, in your own spare time, you can read uh, chapter 4, verses 1 through 21. But I'm just going to uh, read about three or four verses, beginning at verse 7. 1 John chapter 4, beginning at verse 7, this is what uh, John speaks about or talks about. He deals with the love of God. That's what uh, John deals with in 1 John chapter 4, uh, the love of God. In verse 4, he begins by saying, Beloved, let us love one another, for God is of love. And everyone that loves is born of God, and they know it's God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him herein. This is verse 10. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, then God dwells in us and his love is perfected in us. I'm going to stop right there. You can go ahead and read 
down to verse 21 uh, whenever you get a chance. But this passage of Scripture deals with the love of God. Think about this, if you will. Christians often hear that God loves them. We have heard that from our youth uh, to the present day. We have heard that God loves us. Now, this truth is repeated in church. And believers, Christians, recite Bible verses on the topic. Yet, here's the question. Do we really grasp or understand what it means to be cared for in this way by God? I want to explore two aspects of God's love. Number one, God's love is not influenced by anything within or around us. I want to say that again. God's love is not influenced by anything within or around us because it is one of God's unchanging attributes. It does not change. We know that even while we were still living in sin, the Bible says in Romans 5 and 8 that Christ died for us. So, so we did not do anything to earn his love, and we cannot do anything to hinder his love because God's love is not influenced by anything within us or around us. Number two, God's love is eternal. Wow. God's love is eternal. Believers are Christians will never be separated from God's love. In fact, if you read Ephesians chapter 1, I think right around verse number 4, it tells us that, that the Father chose us before the foundation of the world. We know, therefore, that his care for us has always been a fact, and it always will be. God's love is eternal. It will never end. As a matter of fact, as long as God is, love will be present. Why? Because God is love. That is an attribute of God. So, so the truth of the matter is we can trust the one who loves us completely. Matter of fact, Jesus proved his love for us by dying in our place to restore us from sin and the consequences of sin. He promised to stay with us always and redirect us when we go astray. So whether or not we feel his presence, whether or not we feel his love, God's love surrounds and protects us forever. That deals with and that reminds us of the love of God. And, you know, sometimes we go through various situations and we may feel like no one loves us, no one cares about us. But John has reminded us in this particular passage of Scripture that God is love because that is the nature or one of the many attributes of God. Amen. I wanted to share that with you all on today. All right. We have three individuals who are going to bless us with prayer today. We have Sister Marion Henderson. She's going to pray with and for us. We have Sister Doris Powell, and I believe we have Brother William Bo Brown as well. They are going to pray at this time. So I'm going to take the line off mute uh, so that we can hear from those individuals on today. All participants are now unmuted. All right. Sister Marion Henderson. If you're on the line, Sister Henderson, we're going to begin with you this afternoon. Sister Henderson, are you there? I'm here, Pastor. All right. Thank you, Sister Henderson, for opening us up with prayer. Good afternoon, Pastor Tobias and everyone. Thanks, Pastor Tobias, for allowing me. Line muted. Today. May we bow our heads at this time to our most gracious, loving, and giving heavenly Father. I come on this day, this wonderful day that you have created for us. 
as your humble servant to give you the most highest praise, honor, and glory. Heavenly Father, I ask you to help all of us, Lord, during these times. I know all of our needs. Protect each of us, Heavenly Father. Guide us, Lord. Help us to understand that our lives will never be perfect. Help us to understand that we can call on you always, Heavenly Father. Keep us, keep our children in your loving arms and let them know that during their trials, tribulations, and even failures at one thing or another, you are always there. And I, as our pastor has stated, you will always love them. Our pastor, their parents, fathers, grandparents, aunts, uncles, their friends, as well as other members of New Mount Zion are there for them as well. Keep them as well as myself humble, Lord. Heavenly Father, give them patience in all things. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, you have molded and made me, and I thank you. Dear Lord, you have breathed into me the breath of life, and I thank you. Lord, you have adopted me as your child. I thank you. Heavenly Father, your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, died for my sins, Lord. I ask, Heavenly Father, to be forgiven for all of my sins, Lord. Dear Master, you have extended to me your grace, and I thank you. Lord, you have extended to me your mercy, and I thank you. I know you love me, Lord, and I thank you. Heavenly Father, you have blessed me, Lord, and I thank you. Have mercy, have mercy. Heavenly Father, you have continually performed miracles in my life, and I thank you. Therefore, Heavenly Father, it seems so selfish that I become that I come before you this day as your humble servant, Heavenly Father, asking for another blessing. Help me, Lord, for I come asking for a special touch from you, dear Lord, a touch of healing that only you can give. <sighs> I come today, Lord, asking you to touch my head, Lord, so that the headaches will cease. A touch of healing so that I may be able to take a sip of water and enjoy it. Thank you, Lord. You, Lord, touch my body, Lord. Touch me internally, Heavenly I'm Father. Touch my bones, that the infection will no longer spread. Touch me, Heavenly Father, so that I may continue to heal in your name, dear Lord, in your name. And Heavenly Father, I ask you to touch the medicine I take ask for a special touch from you, Heavenly Father, on my stomach, Lord, that I may be able to tolerate the medicine that I receive. For I know that is part of the healing that you are providing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, in all things that you do. Dear Lord, I ask for blessings upon our congressmen, 
our city, Lord, everyone, Heavenly Father. For we have are continually disobeying you, dear Lord. Touch us, Lord. We need you. We need you to guide us in everything that we do. As our pastor just stated, Lord, we need to love each other. We need to go back to the old ways, Lord, for I'm a firm believer that it does take a village to raise a child. We all need to be re-raised, Heavenly Father. We all need your touch. And we all need your guidance. In your darling son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. I must say. Amen. I must say. For opening us up in prayer on today. Um, Sister Doris Powell, if you are there, Sister Powell, we uh, yield to you at this moment. Sister Powell, if you are there, we will continue leading us in prayer. Yes, sir, Pastor, I'm here. Thank you, ma'am. And I want to say good afternoon to everyone on the line. And we want to thank Sister Henderson for such a touching prayer. Let us bow for prayer. Almighty God, which art in heaven, you are our maker, you are our creator. You created all things, Lord God. We bow humbly before you, dear Master, to thank you for another day. A day that has been coming since the beginning of time. And Lord God, we thank you. We praise you. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for your grace, and, and, and Father God, we thank you for your tender mercies that you grant to us each and every day. This is the day that you have made, Father God, and help us to rejoice and be glad in it. And whatever we're going through, Lord God, we ask you for your special blessing. We ask you for your special touch. Just bless us, Lord God, as only you can. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God, for loving us in spite of. We ask you that you would forgive us, dear God, of all of our sins. We thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus. We thank you for salvation. For we realize, Father, that we are so undeserving. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege of prayer. You told us that it's right to talk to you, Father, about whatever our needs are that the communication line is always open, Father. And right now, dear God, right now, Father, because we realize that you are a right now God. Right now, we ask that you would touch in a mighty way. Today, we pray in the wonderful name of Jesus for your continued blessings. We have pray mercy, have mercy. That you will meet us, Father God, at our point of need. But whatever we're standing in the need of, Father, we're calling on you right now to bless as only you can. We pray for healing. For all the names that were called by our pastor a minute ago, or whatever they're standing in need of, whatever pain, whatever suffering, whatever discomfort, Lord God, you know, Father, you know all the names, you know every need. We pray, Father, for your special blessing. We realize, Lord God, because you told us in your word that there is healing just in the hem of your garment. And we ask that for that healing right now, Lord God, for whomever is standing in need. We pray, Father, for comfort for those who might be bereaved among us. Help us to always remember that you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us. No matter what we're going through, Lord God, help us to know, help us to stay focused on you and to lean on you. We know, Father God, that you are ever present help in our times of need. And we need you right now, Lord God. Help us, Lord, to lean and depend on you for whatever is going on in our lives. Help us to live the life that we sing about in our praise songs. For we all 
want to go over into glory land one day, Father, where we will praise you and and we'll just praise you and, and, and live peacefully and joyfully evermore. We ask you, Father God, while we're down here on this earth, that you will order our steps. Lord, let us stay focused on you and on your word. Help us, Father. There is so much turmoil in our world, our world right now. Lord, you, you know, Father, you see everything, you know everything. Show us how to walk by faith and not by sight. Your word tells us, Lord God, that Help us, Father God. Your word tells us, Father, that you are a lamp unto our feet and that you are a light unto our pathway. Help us to live our lives each and every day so that our brothers and our sisters can see that light that you're talking about. We ask you, Father God, for your continued and unconditional love. Our pastor just told us, Father, that, that love is is perfected in us through you. Help us to love each other. Mm-hmm. He said that your love, uh, your love is is just another attribute that never changes. Show us how to love each other, Father. Father God, teach us each and every day that we're servants down here, striving to make heaven our home. Soften our hearts, Lord God. Humble our spirit. Keep our our minds stayed on you, no matter what we're going through. Help our minds to be always stayed on you, Father, knowing that you and you alone can deliver us from our problems, whatever they might be. We ask you, Lord, that you continue to bless our church, everyone that's on the line right now, all of the sick and shed in. We ask, Father God, that you would bless all churches that are open in your name. We pray, Lord God, for special blessings upon our wonderful pastor and his family. We pray, Lord God, for our president of this great country. We lift up our governor, our mayor, all of those who govern us, dear Father. We ask that you will just encamp your guardian angels around us, Father. Show us, teach us how to depend and lean on you. Deliver us, dear God. Of whatever we're standing in the need of us. Because you told us, Father God, that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And right now, Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, we're standing on your word. Father God, we ask you for deliverance, for protection. We thank you for your love, Lord God. We lift up our children who are trying to navigate COVID-19 as they try to attend school. We realize, Father, that our children are our future. We thank you, Father, for we realize that you have brought us from a mighty, mighty long way. And Lord God, we just know in our hearts that you're never going to leave us. And we thank you, Father. We thank you. We praise you. We love you, Lord. We love you, Father. And in everything that we do and everything that we say, Lord God, help us to be careful to love our sisters and brothers. Help us to be careful to be not self-centered, but to be more selfless and to just remember that you left us down here to serve you, Father. We just ask you, dear God, that in all that we do, that we continue to look to you, to lean on you, and know that you are there for us for whatever we're standing in the need of. Father God, we thank you for the privilege of prayer. We just thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord God. In the precious name of Jesus, we offer this to Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sister Powell, as well. Sister Henderson, thank you as well again. Uh, Brother Brown, Brother William Bo Brown, if you're on the line, uh, we would love to hear from you at this moment. Brother Brown, are you there? Uh, Brother Brown, are you there? Thank you, All right, Brother Brown may not have been able to uh, get away to log in. Uh, let's see, can, can we get one of our deacons on the line? If, if one of our deacons um, is, is on the line, if one of our deacons can pray in the place of Brother uh, Brown, we'd appreciate that so much. Uh, deacon Spiver, would you have to be on the line? Yes, sir. Rather. Okay, Maybe thank pray. You, 
Thank you. Are you still there, Deacon Spiva? All right, Deacon Spiva may be having uh, technical difficulties as well. Are you there, Deacon Spiva? Yes, All right, if he's not available, technical difficult. Let's see, Dr. Wright, are you still on the line, Dr. Wright? Can you continue us in prayer? Dr. Wright, Deacon Spiva, well, we will just get a third volunteer. Anyone can volunteer to lead us in prayer. Father God, we come to you this evening. Just want to tell you, thank you. Thank you once again. You thank have you. been so good to us. We just can't tell it all. Father God, we just love you and we praise your wonderful holy name. We just want to say thank you for this wonderful, beautiful day. Father God, thank you. Father God, just help us. You know what we're going through right now. Six aches and pain. People in the hospital of COVID. And it started rising back up. We got our have government officials fighting towards one another. Father, we should be working towards salvation. Father, help them. Father God, we need you right now. We're living in a different time. Help us, Father God. Pray for my church family, my family, my pastor. Father God, help us with this crime. And let us know, Father God, we are not alone. You are always there. All we have to do is call on you and have faith and believe and work toward what you ask us to do. Help us to love one another in your name. Nobody is better than no one. We all the same on your eyesight and your love. We thank you for our pastor. We just thank you. We love the Father. What you're going to do, what you're doing now. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Brother Emerson, for stepping in as well. God, our Father, we reverence you and we thank you for who you are. That is our God, our Redeemer. We thank you for being our God. And because you are our God, God, we, we recognize and realize that you are a God of love. God, and because you love us unconditionally, God, you love us in spite of who we are, what we've done. God, we, we, we thank you for that because we realize and recognize that your love for us will not change. God, that's the type of love you would like for us to have for all mankind, God. So we pray, we pray, God, that, that you will continue to protect us, to deliver us, to allow our, our, our character to be reflective of your nature, all that we do, say, behave, how we walk and talk. God, we want to resemble you more and more every day. God, we pray and we ask that you would uh, encourage our hearts so that we can be sensitive to your word and to your spirit, Father God, and, and, and allow us to have the strength and determination to offer testimonies to other individuals, reminding them of what you've done for us on our behalf. So, God, we thank you. We thank you for all that you've done. Thank you for the prayers that have already been prayed, God. And we pray for each and every individual who's a member of this church, God, each and every individual who's on this uh, conference call today. I pray and I plead the blood of Jesus over each of them, God, their families, their households. Keep us all, God, safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Then, God, those names that were called earlier, uh, as we were beginning our prayer period, God, I pray that you would bless each individual whose name we call, God, in the manner or uh, method that you see fit. You know what they stand in need of. Some need physical blessings, some need emotional, whatever blessing they stand in the need of. God, I pray at this moment that you would hear and answer our prayer. Thank you. For Jesus Christ, our love, who is the perfect example of love who, who gave up his throne in glory, descended down to a sinful world to, to, to die on an old rugged cross for our sins. Thank you for Jesus Christ our Lord. God, we thank you for the holiday season that we are uh, getting ready to experience, the Thanksgiving season. God, I pray 
that you would keep individuals safe as they travel down the dangerous highways going to and fro, uh, uh, visiting and sharing with other individuals. I pray that you will protect them down the highways and the airways. But then, God, I, I also pray that you will protect us in, in various gatherings, those that may choose or select to uh, gather in homes and households. God, I pray that you will keep them safe from any type of virus or uh, uh, illness or disease, God. We know that you are able because your word says that you are able to do just that. I pray, God, that you will continue to bless our church family, uh, other churches that are open, those that are uh, yet preparing to open, those that have not opened, God. I pray that your Holy Spirit would give each pastor and preacher wisdom to do that which is needed and necessary to positively influence and impact the body of Christ. God, we need you like never before. We pray for our government. God, there is so much going on around us. We pray for uh, uh, various states that are experiencing so much crime, God. And we, times like these, God, it is for us to come together and to uh, uh, ask you to do what your word says, and that is keep us in the right mind and give us confidence, peace, knowing that you have not forgotten about us. But you are just that. working behind the scenes. Thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for uh, the reassurance, knowing that you will answer our prayer based on your word. This is our prayer, and we thank you for all that you have done, what you will continue to do in our lives. Thank you for being God. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. We amen. bless the Lord. Thank you all so much again for taking the time out of your schedule this Thursday afternoon to call in uh, and, and to pray on the behalf of others and yourself as well. Sunday morning, uh, we look to uh, participate, 9 o'clock Sunday school hour, another great lesson in our worship experience at 11 this coming Sunday, the third Sunday in November. Until then, may the grace of God be with each of you, and I pray that you have 